Norm Rosen from RV Lifestyle Magazine, and I'm here at Alaska RV Center, Alaska's beautiful brand new facility in Clarington, Ontario. Now this is just east of the former beautiful big glass castle that they used yep, to have yep. uh, down by uh, Oshawa Whitby area. Yes. Uh, both of the dealerships can easily be found. You'll, you'll see them, they light up at night like a diamond cathedral. Mm -hmm. uh, easy, easy, very easy to see from Highway 401. So Keith Waters, you are uh, the expert on the plateau here at Owasco. Uh, we are um, going to take this out. Uh, we're going to do the walk around indoors, if you'll excuse us. It is uh, the end of November, and it is... Um, it is a unusually cold day outside. It's uh, minus 20 wind chill factor, chill. Uh, which for our, our, uh, our friends and viewers in the United States, minus 20 in Canada is about 100 degrees below <laughs> zero in the United States. So uh, unless you've got your snowshoes ready and you're bundled up with everything you could possibly have in your closet, you should probably think about Florida at this time of year, but up yeah. here, we're getting ready to go play in the snow. We are. Now, this is a beautiful brand new 2019. It is bright white color, and this rides on a Mercedes-Benz chassis, Sprinter chassis. 3,500. 3,500. Uh, what is the engine in here, and what are the specs? So it has a three liter V6 diesel. Mm -hmm. Gets you incredible gas mileage. You're probably going to see about 18, 20 miles per gallon, so mm -hmm. exceptional fuel efficiency. Uh, it's, uh, it's easily, the, uh, in my opinion, the best um, chassis for a, uh, a B-Class motorhome. Now, this has uh, tandem rear wheels. It does. Top of the line tires. Top of the line, you're going to have Continental tires. Of course, the tandem uh, in the back, you're going to have a better footprint on the road. Um, so on windy days, especially like today, if you're traveling on the 401, um, you're not going to feel as much buffering. You know, you're not going to get pushed around in the wind as much. Very well suitable or suited for uh, for your RV travels. The most most commonly used chassis in the world for uh, for other applications too. So I think that's a good indication of uh, of, uh, of why it's being used. Yes. Now. Uh if um, the RV enthusiast, uh, it tends to be couples driving in this, yep. uh, every now and then a, a small family, a couple of small children, uh, it's primarily a touring van yes. enjoyed by, by couples retired or approaching retirement age uh, or younger people. Uh, the benefit of this, of course, is that uh, it is garageable. It is. And it is, it's very, very easy to drive. Uh, driving one of these units, of course, power steering, power brakes, power, power ev everything, power everything. Yep. Uh, very, very easy, very pleasurable, very relaxing to drive a vehicle mm -hmm. like no this. No white knuckle driving. No, 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 so. no. And this is manufactured by Pleasure Way yep. uh, out of uh, Saskatchewan. Yep. And of course, being Canadians and living in Saskatchewan, uh, they know everything there is to know about winter, and this vehicle is as comfortable in the winter as it is all year round. So, a uh, lovely vehicle. Uh, let's, um, let's pop the, uh, the hood and take a look at this engine. Sure. So, Keith, we've popped the hood on this beautiful uh, Pleasure Way uh, class B unit uh, on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this diesel engine. Three liter V6 diesel, uh, excellent fuel efficiency. Like I mentioned, you're probably going to see 18, 20 miles per gallon. Mm -hmm. um, very, very efficient. What I really love about this for, uh, for the mechanical enthusiasts out there that really like to stay on top of their, their fluids, mm -hmm. uh, it is very accessible. All your fluids are right up front, uh, DEF fluid, which is incredibly important while you're traveling, uh, your diesel exhaust fluid, um, yeah. very accessible, so you're, you're never going to forget about your DEF fluid, but of course, all of your fluids um, are incredibly accessible. Very accessible. Yep. This is, uh, from a mechanic's perspective, this is a much more friendly engine to work on uh, than earlier 
configurations of, right. of similar engines in these chassis. Everything is in their face, <laughs> ultimately, uh, so it, it is very easy for them uh, for them to work on. Um, almost bulletproof, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. Again, these engines are used in in hundreds of thousands of, of different oh, yes. Oh, yes. of uh, 3500 Sprinter chassis. Very, very, uh, very, very common chassis. People love them, and they they drive exceptional. And uh, repair facilities really throughout North America are uh, are very uh, very familiar with them um, not only Mercedes-Benz dealerships can tend to uh, work on them but yes. you can also take them to commercial Freightliner dealers as well oh that's a major advantage big advantage yep and the Freightliner dealers who are used to working on the big interstate 18 wheelers mm -hmm. they get your vehicles in and out really quickly they do it right the first time yep. we've had a number of vehicles serviced through the Freightliner network and uh, that is a major advantage when you're on the road now, Frank Hohn, our, uh, Frank Hohn, our favorite sales rep, is demonstrating that there is a step on the front bumper that you can uh, just step up, which gives you very, very easy access to the engine compartment. So, Keith, uh, this is a really cool unit. I really like this. Uh, I'm standing inside. Of course, you're on ground level. And, and we're looking not only at this very, very large entrance door, mm -hmm. which is, gives you much easier access to a Class B motorhome than what you would typically find, but I'm looking at this really cool control panel over here. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, uh, Pleasure Way introduced the one-touch tablet screen. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, multiplex wiring allows you to put all of your systems on one uh, display panel, which mm -hmm. is very unique. Not a lot of manufacturers out there are doing that currently. Mm -hmm. um, this is a one-touch sh one touch shop, essentially, yes. for all of your systems. So right here is the Pleasure smart, uh, smart system for your, uh, for your entire system of your coach. Uh, right now you're looking at the, the home screen, which is going to give you a brief overview of your lighting system, uh, your tanks, of course, your fresh, your gray, your black, and of course your, your propane system. This screen, you're going to, of course, be doing most of your time on this screen. Your generator start function is going to be a, a system that you're going to be using all the time. Um, of course, the, uh, the AGS, the Autogen, allows you to, uh, to leave your coach with a, a pet, for example, as you're shopping, um, and it'll allow the generator to come on to, to cool the unit. Um, and, of course, your, your AC and your, your furnace function on your home screen, very, very user-friendly system. Um, and of course, this is made possible with the multiplex wiring system that uh, that Pleasureway uses. Um, from the home page, transition to the lighting page. Lighting page is is uh, is designed very nice, very organized. Uh, one touch will allow you to turn off all of your lights, or the light master switch will allow you to turn them all um, all in one touch. Um, of course, if you hold a button, it'll allow you to dim the lights as well to uh, to set the mood. Okay, so uh, Keith, uh, show us how you can lower the rear sofa. Sure, it's all one touch. We'll just be putting the bed down right now. Bed's down, and now back up again. Well, that is way cool. Super cool. Um, Super cool. Of course, there is a second one of these screens too. In the mm -hmm. event that you are already sitting on the sofa, you can mm -hmm. do everything that you can here on the back to sc uh, back screen as well. Excellent. Yep. Um, and of course, your power awning, because what coach doesn't have a power awning these days? Yeah. So, Keith, this is very very comfortable back here. We are well. You're a big guy. You got to be at least six foot one, six foot two. I am, and I'm almost two hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm average size. So judging, I mean, we're sitting here. You could easily fit one, maybe two other adults in here. Yep. And you've got another chair on the left and another chair on the, well, on the passenger side, on this side. We've got a really, really nice, this is a brand new kind of table. Brand new to the, the 2019s. It mm -hmm. is a lagoon table. Lagoon. A lagoon, yes. Um, it allows for no table post in the middle. Yep. Um, which, of course, as we all know, can be a little cumbersome to maneuver around. Yes. Uh, now with this lagoon table, it's very easy. Swivels to essentially anywhere that you want it. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you find the position, then you'll just lock it into place. Yeah. Um, and then as you need to move it, 
you'll just move it out out of the way. Moves in out, moves in the way, moves out of the way. It, it has a, a lever lock at the bottom to if, raise or lower. Yep, and if you want to remove it altogether, then mm -hmm. that's what you'll do. You'll just loosen it, pull it off, and you can just put it into your super large closet uh, storage area. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's easily the... Uh, the the What's most a class of the Class B industry. It is. That's that's a very very cool table. It's got nice radius corner beveled edges. Mm -hmm, very mm -hmm. very nice. Now these um, couches. Yes. The the additional seats here. Mm. Uh, these of course could slide out to extend the size of your sleeping area. It does. Yep. So this will convert into a queen uh, a queen bed. Queen bed. Yes. Yeah. Um, of course, high density memory foam mm -hmm. uh, mattress. So it'll it'll. It'll stay plush for a long time. Oh, a long come, time, yes. Right. Um, super soft to touch. Mm -hmm. Very high quality leather that uh, that Pleasure Way uses. So Keith, we're sitting in the uh, rear of the vehicle, and the camera, of course, is pointed towards the front. On the left-hand side of the screen, uh, we see the uh, LG LCD TV with the uh, or LED TV. LED TV. LED with the Bose soundbar underneath. That's very classy. New to 2019 as well. That Bose soundbar, of course, the LG TV is also a, a smart television. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll allow to pick up, you know, the your Netflix, for example, if you have Wi-Fi connection somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the Bose soundbar makes a huge difference. You can connect your uh, your mobile devices to it, Bluetooth-wise. So it, uh, it really does um, just takes your camping experience to another another level uh, with your with your audio and video uh, capabilities mm -hmm. now above the TV we have uh, a Carmana control panel uh, is that for solar panel uh, it is it is that's going to uh, that's going to show you your charging coming into your uh, your lithium batteries of course pleasure way has mm -hmm. uh, two uh, lithium ion uh, batteries um, excellent of course to, to provide clean power to the coach. Uh, Pleasure Ways have upwards of 285 watts of solar capabilities as well. Mm -hmm. um, of course, that's going to be your, your display panel to show what's coming in and, and what's being used by your, your coach. And is that optional? Uh, the, solar's, uh, the solar is, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an optional piece of equipment. Uh, you can get upwards of uh, 285 watts. Uh -huh. And to the right of that is the second of the, uh, the multi-control panels. Yes. Uh, which is a very convenient place. And then, as we can see, as as we uh, we just lower down and then zoom out, you can see all of the other features on the interior of this beautiful vehicle. Let's just see if we can level it just a tad here. Uh, well, you've got an aisle that's very easy to walk back and forth, and that it's it's quite wide enough uh, to uh, to walk through. And then you've got a really nice long kitchen counter. Lots of counter space, Corian counter uh, <coughs> as well, premium uh, premium materials, and that's all that Pleasure Way really uses uh, from their Corian countertops to their to their maple cabinetry. Um, Pleasure Way really strives um, to use better materials um, to take. Well, Pleasure Way as a whole it takes a little bit longer to build a Pleasure Way, and that that really says a lot to what they what they build. It takes it takes Pleasure Way about six weeks to build one Pleasure Way versus uh, a lot of other manufacturers on an assembly line takes them four to ten days. Mm -hmm. um, so Pleasure Way really spends a lot of extra time on their coaches, but of course they're using better materials like their their Corian countertops and their and their solid. Well, this as you can see is the is the new. Um, mocha maple cabinetry mm -hmm. now you've got a a very nice residential style faucet on the sink yes and you also have a, a very large undermount stainless steel sink you do and then you've got a uh i believe it's a two burner two burner recess recessed uh, cooktop yep. with a tempered glass uh cover that flips up to be a splash guard yes which is uh, really very, very nice. Or could be used for extra prep space too. Oh, absolutely, extra counter space. Yep, and of course that kitchen faucet also pulls down too. Yes, kitchen faucet pulls down, it has a spray attachment yes. on the end of it, and it's Beautiful very, finish. very nice. Yep. Uh, the sort of thing that you'd love to have in your home. Right, I don't even have it in my home. So Keith, tell me about the features of the galley area and the center zone of the motorhome. Definitely, Norm. So first off, uh, what I'll bring your attention to is, of course, all of the storage that Pleasure Way offers. Um, lots of deep overhead storage um, throughout the, the roof area of the coach. Um, one area that is, of course, unrivaled 
in the B-Class motorhome, of course, cargo is always a challenge. Um, you have a huge, absolutely huge closet. Um, or could be used for, for a pantry if you wanted to throw some additional stuff here. But um, easily one of the most underrated features is all of the storage that you gain uh, in the Pleasure Way TSs. Um, of course, your closet and lots of overhead storage. Um, very, very, very crucial. Um, of course, like I mentioned earlier, Pleasure Way also uses better quality materials, um, better quality appliances. So you're not going to find no name. You're going to find uh, High Point uh, convection microwaves. You're going to find Norcold fridges. Of course, this particular fridge is a uh, double door uh, fridge. So you're going to have both a separate freezer and uh, fridge compartment. Of course, for your for your longer trips, or if you like, you know, some hard ice cream, you can you can achieve that in in that type of freezer. Um, through the galley, of course, we mentioned that you do have a lot of great counter space. Um, of course, Corian, um, full finish, so you're not going to have any separation in there. In the countertops, it is a solid surface. Um, very deep, deep, deep sink. Of course, you can use their, their uh, sink cover as a um, serving tray. Great for cheeses, crackers, if you are uh, entertaining. And, of course, again, lots of great storage through the galley. You'll have three drawers soft touch close which is a really nice nice uh nice feature so norm what you have in uh, in your bathroom here is a little more functional than what you would traditionally see in a b-class motorhome um in this particular bathroom you're going to have a separate sink with a little bit of additional storage underneath your sink uh, you even have a medicine cabinet um, again, very unique feature. A lot of B classes out out there. Um, they don't have a lot of space for maneuvering. This particular bathroom uh, is absolutely huge. Like we kind of mentioned, I'm six one two fifty, and I can get in here and I can I can shower and, and move move around in here pretty good. Um, of course, all finished just like the rest of the coach. Uh, so you wouldn't have to be concerned about getting it wet. It is all uh, it is all water treated. So you're 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 good. Mm -hmm. You want me to jump in there, Norm? Sure. Okay. Lots of space. Lots of headroom. Lots of headroom. Nice shower curtain. Yeah. I'm going to pull this across. Mm -hmm. Just like any 35 series Mercedes diesel chassis, it's going to have power features, power steering, power windows, power everything essentially. Uh, it's also going to have creature comforts like cruise control. Uh, so you can set it and then, of course, be aware of... of of your your traveling because it will not drive itself um, but it does have uh, does have cruise control it also has some other features uh, like bluetooth uh, connectivity on the steering wheel it's going to have other electrical features safety features like blind spot detection lane detection um, and of course uh, of course your park assist as well um, you will have a Harman gps system mm -hmm. also so for for navigation you know that you're going to be you're going to be covered so, Nora, I'm going to show you Pleasureway's roll-down phantom screen. So, you unclip it, and it'll roll down nice and easy. And then you'll zip it into place. And it stays closed all with a phantom, phantom magnet. So, you can pass in through. And then it'll close in behind you nice and tight. Excellent. And then you can keep the screen in and close the door behind it if you want to keep it in permanently. But as you can see, it does roll up. So we also have the same screen design in the back end of the coach. So if we hop up back here, unclip it from the top, and then it'll just roll down. Just like we did in the front. Also have a little screen, a little screen door you needed to get in and out. Excellent. Thanks, Frank. And of course, just like the one in the front, you can keep your doors closed and keep it in. So, Frank, how do you like the drive on this vehicle? It's real nice. I think I was just driving an SUV, not an RV. Uh huh. Steering is Steering solid. Lovely. 
goes over the bumps good. nicely, yeah, yeah. rides Here's well. Where, here we're hitting a, a nice little diagonal railway track. He hardly felt any bounce. Hardly ball. feel a thing. And we're heading heading back to the dealership because uh, realistically, uh, even though we'd prefer to go down to Florida, right? Yeah. Gotta stay home for now. Yeah. And so that automatic transmission on this diesel engine shifts very smooth. That's right. You don't even you can't tell the difference when you're going from one to another. It's no, you can't feel the difference one one uh, year to the next. We're starting. We're bringing her up, and it shifts very smoothly. Mm-hmm. Not terribly noisy. Very comfortable ride. The seats are great. Vision from the driver's oh, uh, seat is excellent. Fantastic. And the like adjustability. A class a, not like a, like a C class. B class, yeah. And yeah. the. No, like uh, a class A, not like, like a, a class not, A. Not like a Z class. Yes. And the uh, seats totally adjustable. Lumbar support. Very plush. Very smooth. And. We're back at the dealership. Lovely ride. Overall impressions, Frank, after years and years of being a motorhome expert, what do you think of well, this one? I could come home with one of these. <laughs>